Hi, Sadie. Sophia Soder with the Nerds of Color. Huge fan of both of you and your work. And I am so excited to talk with you about this series. Hi, thank you so much. Of course, season one of this show was such a success and the story had so many twists and turns. It was so addicting. What do you think is going to surprise and stand out to fans about this new season and the storyline? I think, you know, number one, uh, what's what I love about season two is that uh, tonally it's the same. We follow the same format, but new characters, new mystery. Um, and it's, of course, set in Y2K. Um, so I think that it's just a complete, you can't even compare it to season one. Um, something that's so beautiful about this season specifically is that we're really exploring the female friendships. Um, and, you know, in season one, the girls, their characters, they were kind of like two worlds apart, but in this season, the girls, like, they're together constantly. Like, they're going through all of these hardships together. And so being able to um, really navigate, you know, and talk about female friendships and the importance of them and what, you know, it truly means, like, what the actual definition of a ride or die means and how you show up with that, um, I think that that's something that I feel like a lot of fans will be intrigued intrigued by this season. Yeah, yeah absolutely. agree. Love it. And the characters, I want you to tease them for me. Was there anything in particular that really resonated with you personally, or were you excited to explore acting wise, anything like that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I was project immediately because of the three timelines. Um, it worked so well, that format worked so well in the first season. Um, and it just seemed like a lot of fun as an actor to get to play three different timelines and essentially almost three different characters because our characters do change so much in each timeline. Um, so that was really intriguing to me. And I, you know, resonated with Megan a lot. She's just kind of just a regular teenage girl, but she she did have to grow up really fast um, because she has a single mom and a sister to take care of and got a job at an early age to help with bills and has all these big plans for her life. Um, so yeah, I just think that she was a character that I could relate to and was excited to, to dive into. I was really excited as well just to be able to tackle, you know, the the idea of playing, you know, a character throughout three different timelines. Yeah. Uh, when we first meet Isabella, she seems like she has everything together. Um, she's confident. She is charming. She's luring. Um, but we slowly get to see um, that changes very fast you know uh winter timeline is a completely different version of Isabella and the third timeline uh summer 2000 is a drastically different version of Isabella but I think that it also goes to show um you know when you really peel back those layers um you see how all of these characters are so complex regardless of you know with even without the filter and the makeup you know I think that you just really get to see these characters going on an actual real journey. Um, and for Isabella specifically, something that really resonated to me was the fact that yes, she's glitz and glamour and she seems like she has her life going together. But at the end of the day, this is just a normal, regular teenage girl that is craving stability and just wants a real friend. Um, that's it at the end of the day. And I think that that's something that a lot of everybody can relate to. Yeah. I'm so excited for everyone to see your work in this. Thank you both so much for your time. And I really appreciate you speaking with me today. Thank you. It was great talking Thank to you. you so Thank much. you so much. Fanboys, professional artists, and professors. Maybe a nerd who's just like you. Talking about the things that you like too. So I invite you to the NOC. In full color, you see me. The hard knock line. Comics, movies, and TV. Yeah. Pop culture with a different perspective. Watch it on your screen. Hit play, so check this.